Thank you, Christiana. And today's Climate Matters. Climate scientists determined 2023 wasn't just the hottest year ever recorded, it was also the hottest by the largest margin. And if you're wondering how we know that with such certainty, Chase Kane got rare access to one of the world's largest collections of weather and climate data. Take a look. Tucked into the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains, down in a basement, some 43,000 boxes hold a unique slice of our history. And this is the first weather observation taken at the South Pole, January 9th, 1957. The archives at the National Centers for Environmental Information help us understand how weather and climate shape our world. From the cool afternoon Rosa Parks sat in protest to the rainy morning before the assassination of JFK. What if this cold front had shifted to the afternoon? How would that day have gone differently? How would the course of American history been changed if the weather were just a little bit different? Jason Cooper oversees what's one of the world's largest collections of weather and climate data, which includes some famous names. Washington, Jefferson, and Ben Franklin were notorious weather observers. But here's a good example of what we have from the 1800s. Detailed notes on temperature, rain, wind, even hand-drawn weather maps. This one from 1873. And this is what we would consider the authoritative source. This is the information that we have collected as a country and as a globe, right, as the global community over the last two to three centuries that supports the predictions and decisions and analyses that are being performed today. So when you hear NOAA scientists say that 2023 was the hottest year ever recorded, that is not just a guess. It is largely because cause of those meticulous records from teachers, soldiers, and farmers. We're basically the nation's scorekeepers, so we're looking at data. It's about trying to make a connection between what we're seeing and why it really matters or why it should matter. Karen Gleason's team uses those records to analyze and rank today's record-breaking extremes. The last two days have been the hottest ever recorded on Earth. People like to have a gold medal, a silver medal, and a bronze medal awarded, whether it's climate, weather, or whether it's athletics. But unfortunately, in this case, the gold medal is not exactly a badge of honor, <laughs> no. right? No, in this case, the gold medal is not necessarily something we want to achieve year after year, but it's what's happening right now in our climate system.